my colleague Christian de Duve, he said, life is a, a cosmic imperative. Is that the case, or is it unlikely? Which, which side do you fall on? We don't know yet. We just don't know. You're on both sides. Yes. We don't have, I, I can't put myself on a side. We have one example of life, us. Here we are. We know that life can arise. But does it happen all the time when you have watery conditions? Does it happen some of the time? What do you really need? We simply don't know. This is the reason that, that I'm pushing so hard to try to understand whether or not there was ever life on Mars, whether or not there's life in a place like Europa. Because if you can show that life arose independently, independently is key, on two different worlds in this solar system, then when you consider the multitudes of, older, of, of other solar systems that are out there, it takes no great leap of imagination or faith or anything else to believe that it could be very commonplace. When you but say independently... That's key. Yes, how, uh, because... Well, be, be, what about colonization from one to the well, other? Well, not just colonization. You can simply... It's called panspermia, the idea that life can be transported from one world to another. We have lots of rocks from Mars on Earth. Okay? Those were ejected from Mars by impacts that threw rocks into space and they land on, on Earth. Same thing has happened. Impacts on Earth, rocks go to Mars. Mars and Earth have been swapping rocks for billions of years. And those rocks go back and forth with typical transit times of tens or hundreds of millions of years, but some of them take seven months. That's how long our spacecraft took to get to Mars. And life can survive in the vacuum of space that long. So life from Earth could have been transported to Mars. Or life from Mars could have been transported to Earth. We could all be Martians.